hope you're all keeping well. I hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, just a quick video from me, uh, just to set you a couple of PE challenges weekly to make sure you're keeping active at home, making sure you're keeping up with your PE lessons as well. Uh, the first thing I want you to do um, is we are going to be doing our run a mile. Okay, So some of you guys have done this with me uh, in the PE lessons. We've been doing it as the warm up. The way we've done it, counted out in big steps because that's roughly a metre is one big step. Counted out your playground in steps, and then I divided that into 1,000, and this is the important number, 1,609, okay? And that's how many metres there is in a mile, roughly, okay? So, counted out the steps, divided that into 1,609, and if anyone can remember, it turned out that we had to do 33 laps of the playground to run our mile, okay? So you guys have been doing that with me as the warm-up. Now, to do that at home, if you've got a small garden, if you've got an area in your house, so maybe a long hallway, you can count it out using your big steps. So each big step is a metre. So the way i done it in my garden, I went from one point, I went all the way around the outside doing big steps, and I was counting, and I got back to the starting point, and that was 21 steps. And when I divided that into our number of 1,609, I figured out that we had to do 78 laps to run a mile in my own garden, okay? So mark out your own space, if that's your hallway, if you can get out into your garden, uh, see how many steps it is, divide it into that figure, and see how many laps or how many times you need to go up and down that space. Now, the idea for the run a mile, if you can remember, for most of you guys that have done it, was that you could do the whole mile without stopping, okay? And each week that we were doing it, you were going to get more fitter, you were going to get better at running your mile. Um, so we didn't want to see any walking. We definitely didn't see anyone sprinting off. Okay, Because if you sprint off, you knew that you were going to lose your breath straight away. And that was going to force you to stop or force you to walk. So it's all about finding your own pace and making sure that you can run the full mile without stopping. So finding a really slow pace, that's absolutely fine. Okay, Slow as you want, as long as you're not walking. So we're going to do that each week and see if we can improve it. Now your second skill that you're going to do, okay, so the second thing I want you to try is I've got a frying pan for this one and I've got a rolled up bunch of socks, okay. Now this is going to be my tennis racket because not everyone has a tennis racket at home and this is going to act as my tennis ball because it's roughly the same size as a tennis ball and not everyone has a tennis ball at home. You've got ping pong ball, you've got anything you want to use for this one, you can be a little bit creative, okay. So I'm going to hold my tennis racket in my strong hand and my frying pan. I'm going to place my socks on top and I'm just going to see how many times I can hit it up in the air. Okay, so see if you can get more than 10 on that one. Now, another challenge I want you to try find a box, find a bin, find something you can hit your socks into. Okay, and now just put it three or four steps away and you're going to practice a little underarm shot. Okay, so holding your tennis racket in your strong hand, holding it down. Tennis ball, just a little underarm shot, and see how many times you can get it in. For that one, I want you to have a little practice, and then I want you to take 10 shots, and I want you to score yourself out of 10. So how many times you can get it into your target out of 10 shots. Okay, and let me know how you get on with that one as well, guys. Um, each week, I'm, I am going to be setting you a different challenge, so just keep an eye out for the videos as they come through. I think it's a link that's going to be sent out so that you can access the videos. Um, it should bring you to a YouTube channel and I don't know if you guys know but in the first lockdown back in March we done hundreds of videos um, from everything from dance, yoga, um, fun and fitness, there's football skills on there, nearly anything you can think of and it shows you how you can do lots of different activities at home with barely any equipment. Okay, So household things like I've got my frying pan here today, we've got the socks. So have a look at them if you want, if you want to keep active, if you're feeling you're a little bit bored, want something to do, make sure you check them videos out and they'll give you some ideas, okay? Uh, we'll see you next week for the video again, guys. Uh, apart from that, stay safe. See you later.